I'm going to show, show you how I tie my favourite pop-up rig. Uh, I've used this rig now for quite a few years. Um, had loads of fish on it, uh, including a couple of English 50 pounders on this rig. So it's been really good for me. It's really easy to tie and it's really versatile to use. Uh, it's called the multi-rig. It's quite well known now. Uh, a lot of people are out there using it. Um, all you do is get a long length of hook link. Um, you tie a double loop up one end, which is really short and a double loop up the other end which is a lot longer. Um, all I do then is I get the short, the short loop, uh, put it through the inside of the hook so it's coming out the back of the hook. Then I put a size 20 swivel on it and then I loop, put the loop over the hook and tighten it up so it's really aggressive and it's just sort of sitting on line with the, the hook point on the shank. Um, tie the bait onto the swivel really tight then I make, um, I peel back a bit of the um, hook link, uh, the coating just below the knot, just to create um, a nice hinge for the pop-up to sit up. Then I'll put a load of pot putty around the, um, the knot itself to sink the pop-ups. Originally, I used to use our cork ball pop-ups uh, with this rig because it re that, that sits them up for two or three days and it's really aggressive sitting up in the water. But the, um, our pop-ups nowadays are much more stronger, much more buoyant than they've ever been. And these pop-ups, this particular pop-up here, will sit up this big hook for at least two or three days easily. And that's even with piercing them. So uh, these are great pop-ups to use for the multi-rig. Um, then what I'll do up the other end of the rig, I'll use the long um, loop, take that through a size 8 swivel, double it through, pull it tight, and that acts as a boom section and then you've got a brilliant pop-up rig that sits up there for two or three days. You can leave it out in the water, you ain't gonna have no problem with it. Another good thing about this rig is a lot of people think that the loop is gonna slide down, but the only way the loop is, can slide down is if you actually hook something with the point. If a coot comes along, picks up the bait, the hook will stay in the same place. It doesn't slide, because what it, what it does, it actually tightens up the rig. So, Brilliant rig, I'll carry on using this for many years to come, I'm sure. Hope you've enjoyed the video we've done today. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting up um, lots of videos over the next few weeks. Also, if you're watching it on Facebook, please like our page and leave some comments below. Uh, if you go onto our website, you can come onto our mailing list uh, we're going to be doing um, lots of different carp tips, secret carp tips, secret videos. Um, every single week we're going to have different anglers on here doing videos and uh, I really hope you enjoy them. Um, tight lines and good luck.